Hi, Facebook Live people. All probably my mom is watching or something. Hi, like mom. Um, can you have some water and then we can get started. Cool. Everyone good? Yeah. Do you want me to record the whole thing or do you stop in between? Uh, I'll <clears throat> I'll cue you when to hit stop. Yeah, we'll stop it. Uh, well, yeah, I guess you might end up. Um, yeah, we stop after every segment. segment, and that could be a 10 second break, uh, or it could be a minute if you need to take a piss, or rearrange your notes, or whatever. So, uh, you don't need like, to take a piss, Facebook Live. Take yeah. a piss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I'm like being so wonderfully charming right now. So awesome. Let's Facebook Live it. You want to take a piss? <laughs> take That's a minute break. You want to take a piss? At least we're not just eating sandwiches while yeah. people watch. Could be worse. Your, your Italian Brooklyn dude that uh, came out there was nice. Yeah, my nice. Uh, <laughs> nice. Remind me to tell you a story about an Italian Brooklyn dude that I have not told yet. I won't tell it on air because it's just it's too racist. Anyway. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, go ahead. How's it going? This is Social Absence, the only podcast that's saving its bandwidth for the weekend. I'm Blaze Mancius. Welcome back to the show, you longtime listeners. I'm, I'm sure there's some of you out there. If you're new to the show, let me explain to you a little bit how things are going on. Uh, I'm Blaze Mancius. I'm an actor and comedian living in New York, and I abstain from all social media Monday through Friday. I don't tweet. I don't gram. I don't vine. I don't bumble. I don't tumble. I don't do the snapping. I don't do any of that stuff all week long. And then Saturdays, which is today, I have a guest on my show and they try and get me caught up, see what I missed, see what I didn't miss, uh, and we kind of talk about social media and make fun of that. So, my guest today, uh, she's a very talented writer and comedian living in New York City. Her name is Allie Colbert. How's it going, Allie? Hello, Blaze. Thank you for having me. So glad. Well, how, was, how was the breakfast? Was it delicious? Amazing. Uh, wasn't expecting much. Yeah. There were biscuits, there were sausages, there were eggs. And it was and it was good. And right? it was good. Um, the eggs were a little brown. I wanted to save that for when we were on the air. A little brown, like overcooked, like burnt? No, I don't really know. Um, maybe cooked in a dirty pan. But uh, the food, the food was great. <laughs> uh, the pan was clean, but I'm not really sure why they were brown. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sorry. sure dirty pans would make it taste better. Well, yeah, no, like a thing? There was like some sausage grease in there. That's, so what, that's, that's what, what I think it was. So I'm not trying to embarrass you or anything like that. I'm thoroughly embarrassed. But he cooked his eggs with sausage grease. <laughs> <laughs> is the name of my memoir. Uh, also joining us, there was another voice there, is a uh, very talented voiceover artist and actor, Ms. Lor Mrs. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Mrs. Lori Hines. How are you doing? I'm good. I, it's fine. Mrs. Whatever. I said Ms. It's, it's still weird to I, me. I said Ms. And then like the, the light from your ring like, <laughs> caught my eye. As when in, did you get married? <laughs> April 29th last year. Oh, okay. It's been almost a year. All right. Which is weird. So it shouldn't it still be... Kind of weird to you? No, it shouldn't. Like I, and not You're only that. You're married, Lori. Well, not. <laughs> it's true, but it's still weird. Not only am I close with Lori, I'm also close with her husband. So yeah. like, I'm well aware of them as a couple, and yet I just forgot about it. And no one's really called me like Mrs. Nichols yet. Oh yeah. Which what What do you do? So is it Himes or Nichols? Or is it's it both? Nichols legally. Uh huh. But professionally, it's Himes. God. So un. <laughs> I made such a name for myself. <laughs> we're so married. God yeah, forbid I change it. Absolutely, I right. totally get it. All right. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's get into what's trending, shall we? Let me get in space. Great. Anyone good? Anyone need anything? No. What is the next thing? So this is what's trending. This is where you have uh, like three clues of things that have been trending in social media, and I have to guess like what is they are. The news stories. Yeah. So you're like, Blaze. Like, what did Kanye do? Now. Please go for it. Um, yeah. Or you're like, Kanye did you what this know week? What I'm talking about. Probably. Or not. Uh, okay. You ready? Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, why don't you intro this one then? Just say, like, yeah, so I, I you've been off social media, and, uh, uh right. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You ready? Yep. So, uh, Blaze has been off social media now for one week. Mm -hmm. I've picked out three, uh, stories of interest to me that uh, we're, we're not sure Blaze knows about. I'm going to sort of clue him in, see if he can guess what's going on. The first news story has to do with, uh, this is not really a fun news story. Awesome. In Trump's America. This has to do with uh, who can and cannot come to White House press briefings now. Oh, yeah. Is it, uh, uh, well, well, uh, I believe. 
believe President Obama can't come, right? They don't want him back. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not, that's really not what this is about. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I, I saw something about this. Uh, I think it's the this New York like, Times. Yes, that's right. The, we should have a ding, ding, ding. Oh, shit, ding, 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 ding. That would be great. Right. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll put that in the budget for the next episode, see if we so, can get a ding, ding, ding. There's a budget? Yeah, mm -hmm. Sorry. You yeah. spent the budget on this. <laughs> uh, and brownies. Yeah, and sausage made that. So what did the Times do that pissed off Donald Trump so much that he banned them from uh, the press conference? They, uh, they've been reporting on... <laughs> I think oh. journalists from the New York Times uh, were just prohibited from attending a, a briefing by, by President, oh, President Trump. Oh, is that the uh, is that the old English spelling that was that? What was that? I wanted to vomit when I said President oh, Trump. Uh, they were reporting things that he actually did. So is it? Oh, is that? I hate it when exactly. journalists do that. Um, right. So is is this? Is, are they banned like indefinitely, or was it just one particular briefing? I think it was one particular briefing, but everyone uh, on social media is responding like it's all uh, briefings from from here on out, so, which I don't think is. Which I think is fake news. Uh, <laughs> wasn't uh -huh. also like CNN and Politico too? I think. Yes, it wasn't just the New York Times. Is this is it is that unprecedented? Like, is this the first time this is something like this has happened? Lori, you're nodding. Uh, yes. I mean, I think so. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. That's pretty fucking it's pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah, and it's not like he was asking like uh, you know the Village Voice to not be there, but no, no shade to the Village Voice or West Side Rag would be maybe a, <laughs> even smaller. If you live on the Upper West Side of Manhattan, you know all about the West Side Rag. Um, it's like the New York fucking Times. Like that's a pretty big paper to not have yeah. to to say that has no credibility and therefore yeah, can't be there. That's ridiculous. Uh, I, I did hear about this. Yeah, yeah. Well, good job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So what basically, else? this podcast. Blaze doesn't pay attention to Instagram. He has people come over, and then we compliment it when he knows what's going on. That's really the whole aim of this whole podcast: is to have people in my apartment like affirming me, and I feel great. Wow, already. good job, Blaze! You've already complimented the food. You kind of criticized the eggs that I made, and now you're saying good job for knowing things that most people know. But yeah. <clears throat> uh, well. What else is trending, Allie? Okay. Um, <clears throat> if you, I'll set this one up in a question right. as a question. If you bought a ticket to Coachella this year, why might you be disappointed? Uh, yeah, they, uh, you're going to be disappointed uh, because uh, everybody that went and shopped at Urban Outfitters gets a 50% discount. And so people are mad that like they bought the tickets at full price when they could have bought like one of those like pattern tribal tank tops and would have saved money, right? Like it's it's upsetting. Yeah, dude, it's fucking messed up. Like, if you just went to Urban, because Urban Outfitters, they have their own line of, like, Coachella Wait, wear. Really making this up? Yeah, because, like, Coachella, Alley, Coachella is not just a, a, a concert. It's a way of life. That's right. <clears throat> I love it. Um, you know what? It, I do know this one, too. Uh, uh, it's funny. That was very believable. I, uh, that was my, uh, I was just training at Columbia. Yeah. I went to grad school. I don't know if he's mentioned that. He I went to Columbia. Before. I went to Columbia for theater. For theater. Can I just say really quick, so on a quick diversion, so I, I went to Columbia for theater, which, like, first, first of all, my mom is always like, no, my son went to Columbia. I'm like, mom, you can't really say that, because it gives people the wrong impression. It gives me the impression that I'm smart and or wealthy, which are neither are true. But anyway, and when I was in grad school at Columbia, quick diversion, we'd go out to bars and such, and we'd be talking to pretty ladies, uh, oftentimes undergrads, and, because, uh, you know... Uh, and we'd be talking to undergrads, and they'd be like, "Hey, what do you, what, what are you studying?" I'm like, "Oh, I'm uh, getting my master's." And they're like, "Oh, really? Like, there's the..." Okay, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Are we good? Did something happened. Yeah, you were just repeating. Oh, okay. Um, so we'd be out at bars talking to girls, and they'd be like, "Oh, what are you studying in Columbia?" Like, "Well, I'm getting my master's," and they'd be very interested. Like, "Oh, in what?" Like, "Oh, theater," and they'd be like. Cool, yeah. see you later. Wow, that really was <clears throat> such a buzzkill. It was a bummer. It was a bummer. I don't know how Not for you, for the girls. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there is something disappointing about hearing a man's getting his master's and then um, it's in acting. Yeah. yeah what, what's, uh, what's the, uh, what most about it is disappointing? That it's not impressive. <laughs> 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 that you think it's like... Ivy League education, you're like, oh. Well, it's like, yeah. I'm, I'm going to get have... a lawyer here, I'm going to get a doctor, I'm sure. going to get a waiter. 
Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, like they're just saying, like, oh, I'm gonna have to pay for him for the next few years. Uh, have you seen Crashing? Yes, I was just thinking of that. Yeah, it's like a medical school. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Except then you're a did doctor. You, did you like it? Uh, I did like it. I like it a lot. I like Pete Holmes. There's so many like comedians that I mean, obviously, but it was just really, it was just really cool. I did, I did like it. Uh, yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, it was fun to watch. Yeah. To watch like the New York comedy scene on. Yeah. TV. Yeah. Um, yeah, you see all these places on like, Google, and you're like, oh shit, I've been there. I've seen that. I threw up outside of that place. Yeah, it was very fun to watch. Um, anyway, we're so off the rails here, but anyway. Beyonce is no longer performing at Coachella, there which, you go. which is something that we talked about on this podcast. I was amazed that she was even going to be performing because she's pregnant, and that just didn't seem safe. I mean, I don't know anything about pregnancy, but there's a lot of sand out there, and is it just seems like. Uh, talking about this? No, we we talked about this a couple weeks ago on the podcast that she was going to be there. Oh, okay. This was before they were like, yeah, you know what? I'm a little pregnant. Maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, you know? the doctor said <laughs> doctor's orders. No yeah. More performing at Coachella. <laughs> for good, forever, really. Just yeah. don't. Just yeah. don't go. Don't be around that many white people alone in the desert. It's never a good idea. People uh, are disappointed, but she's going to be headlining in 2018. At Coachella, so she will be back. She will be back. Okay. Barring any incident with the doctor where they say no. Barring any new twins or triplets. How far along is she? Do you know? I don't know. We haven't spoken in a bit of time. Oh. But she just had an amazing performance at the Grammy, so I think people are surprised. Wow, she, you know, really outdid herself there, and now she's going out of Coachella. So this is a sad day for the Beehive place. Back this to you. <laughs> <laughs> what else is trending, uh, Alan? Um, and then my, well, can we, um, I actually, no, we'll just talk, no, we'll just do this, we'll do this while we're recording, because I don't know how to pronounce some of these names. Um, is there an echo going on right now? So. Uh, is your mic on? No. There's an echo going on. Hold on. No. It's yeah. just good. There's a delay. I'm going to... Hold on. <clears throat> Try it. How's it sound now, Lori? Okay, great. Thank you. appreciate it. You're doing such a great job. Thank you. All right. You're doing a great job. Um, Shaq this week got into a Twitter brawl. With who? I know this one. I don't know what was said, but I know this How one. How do you know this one? Uh, well, because everybody knows that Shaq was going to be at Coachella, and he's pissed at Beyonce because he wanted to see her, and he spent all this money on tickets. He's not going to be able to see Beyonce. Like, who wouldn't be pissed, you know? Also, they don't uh, sell uh, Shaq's size blouses at, at Urban Outfitters, so he couldn't even benefit from the Urban Outfitters sale. No, um... I'm a big sports fan, uh, and and for me, I enjoy watching sports because it's like mindless and it doesn't matter. And I like enjoy that that it doesn't matter. I don't know if that makes any sense. You know what I mean? Like nobody dies. It doesn't really matter. But uh, Javale McGee. That's right. Shaq got him to do a, a look. I'm three for three on this. What's trending shit today? Isn't that amazing? Well, kind of like why are we here? <laughs> to affirm me. I thought we talked about this. <laughs> no, this is weird. I don't know why I knew it. Uh, yeah, JaVale McGee is a basketball player for the Warrior, Golden State Warriors. Four. <laughs> All right. Uh, Facebook Live. Sorry about that. Okay, are we good? Gonna... Isn't it funny that, like, if I took my top off, we would have 200? <laughs> And it's just like one thing. <laughs> what, so, okay, so if, if you took your t top off, uh, you'd, you'd think 200 is what you'd get on if the Facebook I class? If I took my top off, we would have more than four. Okay, what if I took my top off? Would it go up or down? It would go up. But not to 200. But not, not the way female titties make the viewership go up. That's true. That's true. I used to Fem upload... That's a great adage, female titties female make the viewership bro go up. I used to uh, make YouTube videos when <laughs> I was in high school, and in order to get viewership on YouTube, I would, like, hashtag them, like, boobies. Ah. Uh, and but, I would get hundreds of views. But not necessarily provide... They were videos of me, like, lip syncing. Yeah, yeah. And, like, little little sketches I wrote. But you hashtag that stuff, girls. Yeah. Can we, can we still see those? Are those still up on the internet? They're not. Oh. <laughs> they are, they are, they, they are. 
They are. Can we share them with uh, our, our fans on our Facebook page? If, oh, if 100%. I, if I, I have one really good video that I would love for you to share. Okay, yeah, send it to me after the show. We'll put it on our Facebook page. So those of you listening on Facebook Live, stay check out the Facebook page, and you can see videos uh, of Allie as a young girl lip-syncing and doing silly sketches with the hashtag boobs. Uh, yeah. Uh, Golden State Warriors basketball player JaVale McGee, he's not very good at basketball, um, and he also has a ridiculous, like, rat tail in the back uh, of his head. Yeah, like the 90s thing. No, not Shaq's words. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what is Shaq? Well, so what did, they, what did they go back and forth on? So I'm looking at some of them now. Um, JaVale says, Shaq, get my nuts out of your mouth. <laughs> That's Jack. That's Javale. Oh, okay. And then he says again, maybe he's in love with me. Yeah. Maybe I should be flattered. I don't know, guys. And then Shaq says, Javale, don't be acting like you a G. I'll smack the shit out your dumb ass. You the one that be looking stupid with your dumb ass. Hashtag bum ass. Can we wow. please do a dramatic reading of yeah. this? Yeah. And then Javale responds. Oh, 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 wait, wait, yeah. Wait. Oh, we threatening people now? Kick rocks, you old bastard. You ain't gonna do shit. And that's on my mama. Stick... Oh, fuck. This gets really bad. I can't read it. Okay, read what you can. Stick to... I can't, I can't read it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Stick to something. Yeah. <laughs> it's like so racial. I yeah. like, don't feel comfortable reading it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um... Wow, I had no idea it gets that bad. <laughs> this all started with a video that Shaq posted. Yeah, because Shaq on TNT has this segment that he does called Shaq and a Fool, yeah. where it's like bonehead plays, like bloopers, and uh, JaVale is a frequenter of that segment. That's and right. and JaVale doesn't really, he's not a big fan of it. He's, to be fair, the only player I know of that has like taken it personally. Uh, to be fair, he is on it a lot. But there you go. Also, he has a rat tail, which looks ridiculous. But that was a fun thing on Twitter this week. Jesus, get it's your a witness. Get your nuts out of your mind. I love yeah. getting your nuts out of my mouth. Yeah. I say that all the time. Do you? When my mom gets mad at me, I go, "Get your nuts out of my mouth, mom." And then she says. And she says, "Yeah, oh, okay, mommy, mommy. Sorry, my nuts are in your mouth." Yeah, uh, I, I'm, I have to say, I'm a little disappointed in Shaq because Shaq usually is the one with the jokes. Uh, uh, and he went straight for get your nuts out of my mouth. No, get my nuts out. Get your nuts out of my mouth. Oh, Javel. So who had the? He it thinks started of, with the Shaq video that Shaq posted. Uh, but who said he thinks of me first thing in the morning? Javel. Javel oh. tweeted like seven times. I, th- I thought that was pretty funny. Like, oh, sh- I woke up and the first yeah, thing. Yeah, he was tweet. in. This is kind of what we were talking about <clears> before we started this morning. When you keep talking about something, you got your feelings hurt. Exactly. Mm. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, you gotta be able to just like let that stuff go. Also, is Shaq in the? T- I'm just because he's like a I'm TV. Shaq. He's a TV personality. I'm surprised that like. Well, hey, it's me. I'm Shaq. Go on. Shaq. No, it's no. That's my. Shaq. You wanna read? Your, That's my Shaq. Wait, wait, wait. Read the Shaq tweets as your Shaq impression, and then I want to hear Lori do uh, Javale. Let's can we do a little back and forth? Let's. I don't know what Shaq. Shaq really really yeah. Yeah. America, you with your little bum, Mikey. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> He sounds something like that. That was good. Lori, you want to take a stab at or do, you do a Shaq, Lori, because I don't think you know what JaVale what was like. Just say well, I can guess what Shaq. JaVale sounds like. Okay. Get your nuts out of my mouth! I don't know. That was really terrible. <laughs> that was okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll cut that. Thanks. Uh, that was uh, fun to listen to. Yeah. Alright, so that was great. That was what's trending. That's awesome. Uh, great. <laughs> I don't think we can use that. that was That's racist. totally fine. <laughs> Um, let's get Let's in. go off oh. Facebook Live. Oh, yeah, let's get off Facebook Live. Oh, I, I can't wait to get off Facebook Live. I need my phone <laughs> uh, to look at what's been going on. All right.